Ahoy everyone, Captain Maelstrom here. If you read the patch notes already, you can notice the only content what was on the roadmap which supposed to drop in this patch was delayed till 1.8, so next patch. And at this point I feel like the game is just a joke. Anyways, let's work with what we have. Dark Harvest is coming on October 1st. We got new discoveries, so some kind of unseen lore collectibles like last year and I guess event quest, which may or may not related to Shroud. Obviously it will, because that's what Dark Harvest is about. Since the devs said this update is empty, they did not update the test server, so I cannot show anything. But the event itself arrives 3 weeks later. Last year we had to fight a stronger Shroud, which had adaptation based on how many braziers were active. This event also gave a secret unseen crown, so possible it will come back this year. Boros die rumor. This rumor is dropped from Boros head while it's in enraged. From September 24th till October 1st, the Lycoin flip gives 1 hour escalation boost. This boost gives extra charged aether, so you get escalation level faster. Basically, a small boost for new players. There will be 3 weekend bounty events. In the next 3 weekends, each completed bounty gives 500 rems. Like, how amazing is this? No, <laughs> this is just uh, sad. You can get hundreds of thousands of rem just by farming hunting ground events, and still, rems are pretty much useless. Like, thank you for helping me reaching 15 million rems, even if the event gives like extra 30,000. But good news, devs listen to us, and Phalanx's weapon's unique effect has only 45 second cooldown instead of 90 seconds. Basically, you can deal 4800 base damage every 90 seconds, making it even stronger than Pongar. Except Pongar can deal stagger damage or wound on Warpike, and if you dodge too soon, Phalanx's weapon barely gonna deal damage, but still, it's pretty strong. And we have a few bug fixes, but you guys can read here. And basically, that's it. That's the whole patch. Another two weeks without content. But don't worry guys, this week I gonna release something what no one's seen before and the devs will hate me for sure. So stay tuned for the upcoming video about unreleased cosmetics. Also, what you guys think about Dauntless since the release of Chrono War? Personally, I'm extremely disappointed with the game even if I give as early feedbacks as I can before content drops. So I'm interested, what is your point of view about the state of the game? Well, thank you guys for watching, have a good day and take it easy. Yummy.